Sir came about as a confluence of several events in my life, uh, all of them pretty much happening at the same time. First, I went into retirement, and uh, within three days of retiring, I ran into a, a gentleman uh, by the name of Uziah Khalil, who in his 80s was still coming, actually still going on strong. Uh, he convinced me not to retire, given my background in healthcare consulting, and asked me to meet a bunch of companies, uh, startups mostly in healthcare and uh, medical devices and electronics, that needed some help uh, learning how to do business in the United States. Uh, I finally consented, uh, and I met some of these people, and it was an amazingly interesting experience that came in handy in, in the next go around of this little story. Uh, at the same time as this was happening, uh, my daughter, Daphna, and a friend of hers, who uh, was an engineer, Brian, uh, they decided that they wanted to develop some applications for the iPhone, and I had no idea what they were talking about, so I really didn't get too much involved with them. At the same time, however, I developed a personal need for a universal remote control because I, was, I found myself working with three or four different remotes to control my movies and television watching and music. And as a result, I wanted to get something that's universal and simple and not costly. Unfortunately, what I found was costly and it was very complicated. So I contacted a cousin of mine who is a self-taught engineer, Rami, who said there must be something out there that works with the iPhone, given the fact that the iPhone has some amazing capabilities and the applications that people were just developing at that time. And I didn't know what, uh, what, what he was talking about, but I essentially consented to do a search. We searched for something in that area for remote controls, and we couldn't find anything. So uh, all of a sudden, uh, he said, well, let me see if I can find something for you. He went into his basement, and about a week later, he came back about a week later, with this uh, wooden board and uh, with lots of holes in it. He called it a breadboard, which I didn't know what it was at the time, full of uh, various electronic components. And then he said, look, I connect this to my iPod. I can turn on the television set, and he did. I can shut off the television set, and he did. Change the volume, change the channels, all from a distance of about 15, 10, 15 feet away. And I said, okay, that's great. I said, now you have a remote control. What do we need to make it work practical and that I can use it. He says, well, you have to do several things. He explained to me, uh, you would need the help of Brian to do some things. You would need the help of Daphna to do some things and some other people. And he explained to me that we need to miniaturize the circuitry, take this breadboard and make it very, very small so that essentially it would fit around an iPhone without taking up too much space and making it bulky and uh, unwieldy. Secondly, which I didn't, really, I didn't quite understand uh, at the beginning anyway, said you need something to control this uh, little circuitry, uh, and to control the circuitry you need an application. I said, okay, well, how do we do that? He says, well, let's first find somebody who can miniaturize the circuit. And I said, okay, I contacted some of my people that I met through Uzi Agalil in Israel, and through that uh, set of connections, if you will, I met with a guy who turns out to be a, an absolute genius in taking circuitry and miniaturizing it and making it fit into a tiny space. Uh, and then Rami said, okay, so he, we put him to, so to speak, we put him to work to do that. And at the same time, Rami said, well, now you need something to put it in. So I said, okay, what do I need? So you need a case. So you need some kind of a packaging, plastic packaging that you can put uh, the circuitry in. And then uh, essentially the last thing you will need is an application which will be on the iPhone itself which will bring all of these strings together and make it possible for you to use the remote to turn on things, shut off things, as well as learn codes from the various devices. It sounded extremely complicated to me, but uh, we started doing the search. So after finding Guy, we started on the process of miniaturization. Somebody told me about uh, a, an industrial designer in Jerusalem by the name of Lee, who turned out to be an absolute uh, major find, and he became actually a founder of our company with us, and he actually designed the final case that you're looking at, and managed to put inside this very, very tiny space the electronics that uh, actually become CERC. Now, we needed the engine to make this thing happen, so the engine became the application, and to design the, uh, the engine, we had uh, Brian and Daphna designing the if you will, the skeleton of this application. And then we needed somebody 
uh, to actually take the skeleton and write the actual programming in, app, in Apple language uh, uh, to be able to fit this. By the way, throughout this whole entire process, which really started, you know, one tiny step at a time, we had uh, the full cooperation and help of the folks at Apple through their made for iPod, iPhone program. And without them, we probably would have never been able to do this. So they were extremely, extremely useful and instrumental and highly cooperative in helping us, really, in the brand new venture, which we had absolutely nothing, knew nothing about. So after we got uh, after we got Guy to design the microcircuitry, and we got Lee to start designing the various concepts for the case, uh, we finally found Mickey, who actually helped us take the skeleton of the application that I mentioned earlier and write the program that became the program that is now if you download it from the surf, from the App Store, if you know from the iTunes App Store, you can download the program and you can see the results of his hand. So in a, in a course of about 18 months, we went through a lot of different changes. And of course, again, I knew nothing about any of these things. I mean, I was a totally, <laughs> really literally a totally brand new babe in the woods. Uh, so I learned along the way that uh, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to help out in different areas, besides obviously uh, helping uh, raise funds for it and make this thing happen.